Hello and welcome to another book review. Now this one is a little bit different. This one is an ARC review, so there will be no spoilers, no nothing that even scrapes the surface of spoiler territory. We'll, we'll be staying well away from that. So if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you will know that I really like doing ARC reviews. I've done them for the past year and a half now. Usually, usually I find arcs either by the author, um, by a publishing house that I follow on Instagram, or I go on Book Sirens and I look for arcs to read. Because if you go on their website, there's just lo it links up to your Goodreads. There's just loads of different arcs to choose from, for whatever genre that you can think of. But this one, this one I found in a Facebook group called Horror Beta Arc Readers. Because as much as I love, as much as I like reading romance and fantasy that has a bit of, you know, an edge to it, um, or historical fiction, horror has my heart. The darker, the better. The darker, the more happy I am. And aside from Stephen King, um, I felt that my horror, my horror books were lacking I was saving You Like It Darker for when I went away on holiday. Um, so I really wanted a horror book and not like a fantasy horror um, or, you know, like soft horror. I don't want soft horror. If you're going to go horror, go dark. Go right down that rabbit hole and just freak me out. You know, the darker the better. So I found this in the horror beta arc group. There's lots of posts there almost every day for authors looking for ARC readers um, and this one caught my fancy. Um, the author put up the blurb and trigger warnings and it sounded like something that would be just right up my alley. So I was like yep I want to be a part of this one. So I am not sponsored, I'm not paid for this review, this is 100% free as are most ARC reviews. All ARC reviews from me. But I think some art readers do get paid when you do thousands and thousands a year. I'm not sure I could never. But yeah, there will be no spoilers in this. None at all. So this is an art review of Silence in the Basement by Alex Moore. I'm not quite sure on the pronunciation of that because I think you can say it quite a few ways, but we'll go with it. So as I said, this is an art review. There will be no spoilers. So the story outline for this is... Hank is a long-distance truck driver along the lonely roads in America, and none are more lonely than Route 50. He gets stopped by a cop who lets him know to be on his guard as there have been multiple disappearances along this particular route. Hank is tired after driving for too long, which is over 15 hours at this point, so the little motel sounds like heaven. Now Hank usually isn't one for talking to strangers, he prefers his own company. Don't we all? But he is feeling friendly after meeting the charismatic and easy to talk to Mal. An interaction that kickstarts a string of events Hank would have been better to avoid. Hank wakes trapped in a basement with Sarah as his only company. On the bright side, there are two ways out of this place. However, both will take sacrifices which Hank is not prepared physically or mentally to endure, but the survival instinct of nature and the human body is a powerful force to be reckoned with. I really liked this book. I will, my, I might as well just get it out of the way right now. I really, really liked reading this. Um, this is not going to be a negative review. I don't do negative arc reviews. If I DNF one, I just don't bother reviewing it. I send it back to the author. Now this book, it is written in the first person and I felt that that, that being encased in that viewpoint, that sole first person viewpoint really adds to the tension in this book and the building of this environment in which the characters find themselves because you only have that one viewpoint you are right in there with them as you're you can really feel what Hank is feeling at the time you don't just read the words on paper you are feeling that tenseness it creeps in and you get to experience his internal thinking, his internal trajectory, firsthand. 
and what the ramifications of him finding himself in his current situation is really having on his way of thinking. Because I think what he goes through, anyone would go through. It's a war between what is expected in human society and what you have to do in a survival situation. What, how far you would be prepared to go to survive, to stay alive, no matter the cost. And the writing, the internal thinking was really, really good um, because you have to you have to really put yourself, you are in that situation. And there has been real documented events where people have found themselves in this type of situation and done anything to survive. This is a debut novel. Now, according to Book Sirens, my reviews can be a little bit strict, but I don't think they are. I do give debut novels some leniency in how I review them, which doesn't take away from how good or how bad the book is. It just means I'm a bit more... I'm less strict, I guess, about them. Now, the writing at the beginning of this, it is a debut novel and it is a bit... It struggles to find its flow. It can be a, a bit choppy at starts. Um, in the, I think in the first few chapters it is quite... It hasn't found itself yet. But I get that because recording these videos I don't usually get into my flow until, you know, like at least a few minutes in. I always feel ridiculous. Like, why am I... Why? What am I here for? So I get that. The writing really finds its stride in the last two thirds of this book. I forgot I was reading this book. I was in that basement looking through the eyes of this character and internally cringing at what was going on and when certain characters interacted together and what they were doing. I, w I felt myself internally cringing like, no, 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 no. And there were a few points where I was reading and I actually physically recoiled from what I was reading because I was that into it that I could feel it and I could feel it and it was just, I, I, I just, <laughs> I was actually, I was like, ew, just, just stop that but I can't stop reading you know, like looking at a crash on the motorway that, you know, you're not supposed to look at because you might see something that disturbs you, but you can't help looking anyway. Although I will say if you are any, any bit squeamish or you don't really like, um, I'm trying, I'm trying to go around it. I'm, uh, or you don't like, um, body horror, you might struggle reading this one at certain points. Pay attention to the trigger warnings, because it's, 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 um, it can be a bit, like, ew, and just ew, and just ew, but I loved reading it. I loved the intimate setting, because, like, in most books you have this big open world, you have all these characters that you're in it. Um, even in horror, you've got all these characters that just a big world of, you know, like, fuckuppery. In this, there are three characters. Only three. And you are in the viewpoint of one. You don't get the viewpoints of the other two. The fact that you are as trapped with these three characters as they are with each other really heightens the feeling of the viewpoint that you get. You are enclosed in this one room with these three characters. Unable to get out, you are jailed with them. And you can feel, although you can physically see, you can feel internally the societal norms really starting to erode and break down. Now, I do feel that it could have gone deeper into where it was going. It could have been a lot more graphic than it was in certain parts. Um, it could have had a little bit more, a few more events in it. 
but I like the idea that these characters are stuck in this basement having to deal with this horrific world that they've found themselves in. We're just a door away. The world goes on as normal. It's just every not there's bird song, there's just the world is so close within touching distance and yet it can't be reached. Now like I said, I think it could have gone more into certain aspects. I think the horror could have been more it could have gone further down the rabbit hole it was going. Um, there were a few things that were mentioned but could have been expanded on if the book had been longer. But it is a debut. So we'll give it... That's the leniency it gets. And I keep going on about the writing. Um, but the writing had me in its thrall. By I was reading it, I was in it. And I like books that I'm not just reading. I'm not just seeing the words on paper. Because I don't just see words on paper. I see the environment. I'm not here I'm reading I'm in those pages I don't know how other people read books but that is how I read and if the book pulls me in down this vortex of horror I am so happy the writing was so descriptive and it the story pulled me in so much that by the end of it I forgot that this is this author's debut novel and I would highly recommend if you like horror Pick this up on the, I think it's the, what day? 12th of July is when it's getting published. I'm not quite sure when this video is coming out, but I will, I'll aim for it to be in the week before the published date, which is what I usually do with ARC reviews if I get them on time. But yeah, this book got full four stars from me, which some, only a few ARCs have got four and even fewer have got five. But this, I would really, really recommend you sink your teeth into this book. It is just... I want to say that it's fun, but because of its subject matter, it's probably not... It's a bit grim, but that's what I like. So if you like this review, please comment down below. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel because that makes all these videos come out. It makes me want to do... It makes me want to do even more, even though I really, really like doing these videos, even, and I don't know what I'm doing most of the time. But yeah, if you like this video, please comment that down below. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, and as always, keep reading.